Hello there. At tonight's youth council meeting, we had a visit from staff in North Tyneside Council's engagement team. They told us about the launch of the Our North Tyneside Voice, which is a new way for, for people of all ages to have their say. We also were invited to be involved with North Tyneside Together, which is happening on September 2nd in Northumberland Square, North Shields. This annual family event brings, brings different communities together to share music, art and a better understanding of different cultures. Last year's North Tyneside Together was great fun, so I hope that you will be able to join us later in this year's event. Youth Council has also talked about the successful youth conference that we had, which was held on the 30th of March. There were, there were more than 100 students from across the borough that attended, and the feedback from them has been very positive. Youth Council has led workshops in which the morning looked at the barriers for young people accessing activities and places within North Tyneside. In the afternoon, young people took part in a workshop looking at what it means to be ready for life, uh, and they played a game that has been developed by our Ready for Life committee. There will be a there will be a follow up event with North Tyneside Council decision makers in June, where we will present the findings from the Young People's Conference to the adults, so that this can help shape council services moving forward. I'm really excited to report that we have new youth council committees with new chairs and a new focus for the youth council members. The Community Safety Committee members will support me with my pledge to make North Tyneside a safer place for young people. The Ready for Life Committee will focus on better financial learning for young people by creating lesson plans for teachers and students, which is connected to your Member of Parliament Sharon Zeng's election pledge. The Environment Committee will focus on supporting the Council's message for action on climate change with a number of initiatives which will educate and encourage behavioural change within North Tyneside. This committee is also supporting my pledge by helping to develop more allotments and small garden projects in schools through the Eco Award Scheme. The Equality and Diversity Committee will be developing projects which will look at accessible places and activities in the borough. The Emotion, Wellbeing and Mental Health Committee are looking at developing a useful resource which can help young people explore their feelings. More will be available about the committee work as it develops. Remember, if you want to tell me about any issues affecting you, please email young.mayor at northtyneside.gov.uk Alternatively, if you want to help us make a difference, email me and I will send you the details about how you can become a youth counsellor. Thanks for listening and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.